Hey gamers, welcome back to Creative Gamers. Today we're checking out the official WinLater V11 update, which is currently in testing version. This update comes after two months and brings several improvements aimed at making Windows apps and games run more smoothly on your Android device. In this video, I'll show you how to set up WinLater V11, configure your container and controllers, and get the best performance. Like the video and stick around for gameplay tips to enhance your experience. Let's start with the updates. In terms of core system improvements, WinLater V11 now comes with Wine 10.10, which boosts compatibility for a wider range of Windows apps and games. It also includes Vortec optimizations to improve overall performance and stability, making gameplay smoother and more responsive. For controllers and input, you can now connect multiple controllers with full vibration support for a more immersive experience. Direct input and X input compatibility has been enhanced, and keyboard input for Latin characters is more reliable, so controls and typing feel smoother. The user interface has also been enhanced. WinLater now offers light and dark themes for a more personalized look. The interface has been fine for easier navigation, and new desktop wallpapers add a fresh visual touch. In terms of compatibility enhancements, Steam games run more reliably, and layered window display issues have been fixed. Portuguese and Russian language shortcuts are now properly supported, making it easier for more users to navigate the emulator. Setting up WinLater V11 is straightforward. Start by opening the emulator and granting the required permissions. The data initialization process is quick compared to older versions. Once initialization is complete, go to the settings menu. Set the cursor speed to 200 100% for smoother movement in games. Scroll down to the Game Controller section, where the default preferred input API works fine for most users. You can assign up to four controllers here for multiplayer gaming. Language options are available in English, Portuguese, and Russian. Next, in the Box 64 version option, you can select a version or add a new one. I recommend using 0.3.6, which works well with most games. Set the Box 64 preset to performance and save the changes. After this, create a container by clicking the plus icon. Choose Choose a screen size of 1280x720 or 960i544 for low-end devices. After, choose the graphics driver. If you have a Snapdragon processor, select Turnip. If you have a MediaTek or Mali processor, select Vortec. Then click the settings icon, choose any version, and the default option is usually the best. For the DX wrapper, select DXVK if you're playing standard PC games, or VKD3D if you're running DX12 games. Click the settings icon again, select version 2.4.1, and leave the rest at default. Set the audio driver to pulse audio, and if you want, turn on show FPS to display a real-time performance overlay while gaming. Finally, in the advanced settings, choose box 64 performance for the preset, set startup selection to aggressive for faster container launch, and select Windows 10 as the operating system. You can also turn on all processor affinity options to allocate CPU resources efficiently. Once everything is set, save your settings, and your container is ready to launch your games with optimal performance. Once your container is ready, open it and toggle full screen from quick settings. You'll notice the new WinLater wallpaper, which looks great. Locate your games.exe file in internal storage. While you can open it directly, I recommend creating a shortcut by double finger tapping the file. Go back to home and open menu, shortcuts, and your game icon will appear ready to launch. I first tried launching GTA 5 by clicking the play button. After a few moments of loading, I ran into a social club error, so the game wasn't able to start. I believe this issue is caused by the new Wine 1010 version integrated in WinLater V11. However, this is expected to be fixed in the full official release, so GTA 5 should work properly once that update is rolled out. Next, I tested Silksong. Before starting, make sure you enable virtual gamepad controls in the settings, otherwise your controls won't function correctly. Once that's done, launch the game. I recommend first clicking the back button, then opening WinLater quick settings and toggling full screen for the best experience. The game loaded incredibly fast, it briefly spiked to around 300 FPS on game home screen, and during actual gameplay, it ran smoothly at 100 to 100 130 FPS, making it very playable even on mobile devices. Silksong felt well optimized, and the controls were responsive, giving a satisfying gaming experience. That's it for our WinLater V11 guide. Overall, this is a solid update that improves performance, controller support, and usability. However, if you're looking for even better performance and optimizations, I highly recommend the WinLater C Mod version, which is a fork of this emulator. If you found this video helpful, like the video, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated with the latest tips, updates, and gameplay guides. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.